Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B C comments below. C repairs needed. D need further evaluation or E not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, sir. It was great to see you uh, out at the house today. Uh, beautiful house. Great location, too, by the way. So let's take a look inside. So it's a freshly painted fireplace, open fireplace. It is missing one single joint here that should be filled um, with refractory cement. And then I guess uh, some white glossy paint right back over it. I'm giving you a price on filling it. I won't do the painting. Homeowner could uh, do all of that themselves if they want. But in order to use that fireplace for vent-free gas logs, you're going to have to do that. The reason is, is because uh, when you have gas logs installed, many times there's permits pulled. And the uh, county wants to come out and take a look at that and everything has to be up to snuff. This uh, fireplace is sealed off here. This would be an area where you'd expect to find a damper. Of course, the house was built before dampers were invented, so it's been sealed off here. And also, um, this plays into the part if you wanted to use vent-free gas logs in here. Uh, you could do that. The heat could come in. You could also remove the plate and use vent-free uh, gas logs as if they were vented and let the heat out. So you could use it in many different ways, but vent-free gas logs are going to be your best choice. And just to refresh your memory, vent-free means a complete combustion, no carbon soot, no carbon monoxide, very safe. Uh, so that is going to be my recommendation. Lots of uh, mortar missing in the smoke chamber area. You would expect to find that in a house this age. Also, the chimney is only partially lined. Well, the state of North Carolina certainly doesn't want you burning wood or vented gas logs. In other words, you, you don't want smoke in the walls because this is a leaky uh, flu system. This is where the smoke and the gases come up. Leaky uh, flu system. You don't want to burn uh, wood and you certainly don't want to burn vented uh, gas logs. Vented, remember, is just the opposite of vent free, which is what I'm saying that you need to do. Vented means carbon uh, incomplete combustion, carbon soot, carbon monoxide. You certainly don't want that in the walls of your house. So Vent-free gas logs will be your best choice. Here's what it looks like up on top. We've got the furnace over on the right side. This is your fireplace on the left side with the chimney cap on it. So if you have questions for me, though, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.